Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Refine Horizons. And I'm doing a, a couple videos. I don't know, it might be more than two, it might be three, but doing at least a couple videos on how to set up Carlson, Carlson Survey 2021 right out of the box. Um, so I'm doing that here. Um, just got it installed on a, on a new computer, work computer. And so I just want to walk you guys through. Uh, in the last video, we just kind of did the basic setup, uh, set some of our colors. Uh, set a couple of our support paths, close some toolbars, that kind of thing. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and walk you through some of the Carlson survey specific settings that you want to work through. Just for a basic, you know, survey setup, managing points and doing some basic labeling. Um, that first video I didn't mention in the video, but we were just kind of doing the basic IntelliCAD settings. In this video, we're going to we're going to go through the actual Carlson survey settings, some of that functionality. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my annotate defaults. I want to work through that with you guys. So this is for your uh, label and lines, bearings uh, with bearings and distances and arcs. And uh, so I just want to go through and, and set these up. So I generally want uh, we want our text to be tenth um, of the of the scale of the drawing scale. Uh, we do want to use M text. I'm not going to worry about the label flip here. I do want to erase. I'm going to put this to prompt before erasing on my labels. Um, spaces between bearing and distances, that's fine. I'm going to leave that at the default. Um, I do want to draw leaders to the endpoints of the lines, and I like these arc only. Um, okay, well, let's see. I can't remember if I... We'll, we'll try it with the arrows. Um, we're going to go ahead and use this survey boundary text. That's our layer that we use for those for those labels. Um, I am not going to draw uh, leaders to the endpoints of my arcs. Um, angles, let's see, survey boundary text is good. That's the right text style. Um, azimuth prefix is fine. We don't use a bearing prefix. I want degrees, minutes, seconds here. I'm going to use symbols for my separators. Uh, bearing direction method. Um, we're going to go... Um, I think this is okay toward picked in. I don't think I'm going to change that yet. I'm not going to worry about labeling geodetic mean angles. Um, I'm not going to strip out spaces. Um, I'm not going to strip out zero minutes or seconds. Uh, these are uh, fine for the quadrant labels. I'm not going to spell them out. I'm going to leave them abbrevi abbreviated. And bearing leaders. You know what? I am going to add that. I'm going to put that above for now. We'll see how those look. Um, that should just give a, I believe that gives a leader that sh it shows you which direction the line's going, which is kind of helpful. Uh, distance label, kind of same thing here. This all looks good for me using the foot tick here. Uh, I'm going to use the AutoCAD units. Uh, distances, uh, grids fine. Decimals fine. I'm not going to mess with any of this second scale distance options. I don't quite know how that works yet. I am not going to drop trailing zeros. And I'm not going to use commas. Um, you know what? I actually, I think I will use commas. Make it a little easier to read. Okay, arc. Same thing here. Make sure you're on the right layer. Arc angle decimals. Hmm. I'm not sure what that does yet. I'm going to leave it right there for now. And then on my arc length label, I like to use L. That's what I like to use. And I will strip out the leading zero on the delta angle. And then I don't use these series lines or parallel lines. I'm not, I'm not quite sure uh, how to use those yet. So I'm just learning Carson. It's only been a couple months, so I'm going to just leave those at the defaults. Now when you're done with those, what you want to do is you want to save them. And so we actually have a place to keep these, and, and you should too when you're setting this up. So you go into our main RH folder under Templates, CAD, Carlson Survey. We have a, we have a, a list for these, so I'm going to just call this RH Basic. It's just a text file, and that's where we're going to save these settings. Now we can easily load that. Okay, and I'm not sure if it stores it in the drawing. If we if we reopen this template, if it'll store in the drawing or not. 
Speaking of that, let's save this as a, we're going to call this CS template for Carlson survey. Okay, so the other, uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to work through uh, these two dialogues, I believe. So let's, let's do our point defaults. So I do want to label descriptions elevations. It's fine. I don't mind being prompted for a dialogue. Um, I don't need a prefix or a suffix. I do want to locate points on the real Z. Um, I like attribute layout 2, which is a little, little bit more like what you get out of Civil 3D. I do not like set point 4 for my symbol. I like set point 10. Um, point number settings, this is fine. Starting point number 1 is fine. Um, you can separate your layers here, so you can put your symbols on one layer and your points on another layer. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to leave them together. I do want to draw the point nodes. This actually creates a, a CAD point object, so either an AutoCAD point, not a Kogo point, just a regular point, or an IntelliCAD point. I do like to do that, um, so I'm going to leave that checked. I do not want my points to be annotative. Uh, I hate annotative everything, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to mask my point attributes. We use uh, UAV ortho uh, photography in that background a lot, so I want to go ahead and do that. And I do want to use field to finish for point styles because we have some field to finish um, set up. Uh, it's asking us for our code table. Let's go see if we can find that. So we do have a code table for field to finish. Uh, might be under topo. Hmm. Yeah, now I can't find it, so I'll have to go find it. So we'll set that in a minute. So I need to do that. I can't find my code file. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's good there. We'll save that. And then uh, I'm just going to go through the, the draw, locate points. This is how you draw points in Carlson. This, the points are stored in a separate database. And um, I just want to check these real quick. I'm not rotating my symbols. Um, I don't want to just draw nodes or just elevations. Uh, I don't need to filter which points get drawn at this point. Uh, I do want to use a negative for negative a minus sign for negative elevations. I do want to label zeros. Um, I'm not going to prefix or suffix my point elevations. Point number settings is fine. We're going to start. We're going to use automatic point numbering. We're going to point number with one. I'm not sure what they use this description match for. Uh, I do want to erase and redraw duplicates. Oh, this is really important. I do want to fix overlapping point attributes. Otherwise, you'll be moving a lot of points, and you don't want to do that. I believe this text size scaler. I want to be a tenth. Both of these, I think, I want to be a tenth. Um, let's see, layer by description. Nope, I don't want to do that. This is if you're not using field to finish. And uh, I don't like this layer name. We're going to call it survey uh, points. We're just going to use that for ge our generic. Okay, and I believe it'll hold those settings. Let's go look. Yep, it does hold those settings, so you just have to do that once. Let's go ahead and save it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do, I'm almost out of time, but let's just go through this. Uh, I think I did this drawing setup in the last video. This is just where you set your scale and stuff, but I wanted to do your uh, what's this Carlson configure. So let's just walk through a few of these. So the general, you do not want to use the startup wizard. I hate it. I do want to save drawing, any files. Um, I'm going to uncheck ignore zero elevations for now. I like this use DVU twist angle. I do like that. I don't want to set uh, use dim. Uh, oh, I do want to set dim scale to drawing scale, AU units to drawing angle mode. Uh, we'll set PD size to symbol size. 
I like insert units at unit, unit lists. I want my UCS at world. We're going to set the LT scale to the drawing um, on startup to whatever's in the drawing setup. I do like my uh, graph, my dialog for file selection. I, I, we are definitely a northern easting shop here. I do not use annotative scales. I was using SQL Lite for the coordinate database because um, it lets you do some extra stuff. So I think I'm going to set that as my default. I do want to link points with the coordinate file. I do want to link the line work with the points. I do want to link the labels with the line work. I do want to link the line work with the center lines. Uh, I am going to maintain a coordinate file history. So this is just this makes your stuff behave a little more like Civil 3D. So your your line work and your and your points and your labels will be dynamic as the underlying entities are are edited. They will also update the the entities they're linked to. So I want that. And I think that's about good. I'm not I'm not 100% sure what all this stuff is for, so I'm not going to mess with it. So I think that's good. So that was in general settings. Uh, let's go into our survey settings. I'm okay with the compact menu for now. I like angle right in my uh, traverse side shot. Um, I'm going to leave these unchecked for now. So I'm okay with that. Let's see project data folders. We don't have a single folder for our, our projects, so I'm going to just leave this at the, at the default. I am going to change this settings folder, though. Um, I want to path that to our folder that's on OneDrive that has all our settings for Carlson, so it's under uh, CAD, uh, RH Templates CAD. Carlson, that's our settings folder, so I am going to repath that. Okay, I think that's good. And then the last one, I'm not going to do it in this video. We'll do it. We'll do some other videos on surfaces, but we do surfacing here, so I will, I will set that. Okay, I'm a little over, guys. I'm a little over my 10 minutes, but uh, hopefully that'll that'll help you get your uh, Carlson template set up. So I'm going to go ahead and save that template now, and. Uh, We'll do some more videos on how to get set up for surfaces, and I'm sure I'll come back in here and do some more videos with you guys just on Carlson settings and configurations um, as, as I learn more and do some different stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video.